Hi, how are you doing? I'm Chris from CBM Motorsports. I wanted to introduce today our MEPI ProScan software. The software allows you to scan, check codes, log data, flash, erase, and rewrite the ECM controller for a MEPI 1, 2, 3, and 4 controller. This is a, a very powerful software that we've introduced, basically letting our customers know what we need to do to help them repair their car when they're in another state, out in the dunes, or out in the water. So let me get started. Let me show you a little bit about our software. You're going to click on MEFI Pro Scan. MEFI Pro Scan is going to pop up. It's going to give you the, the data and it's going to ask for your controller type. What you'd like to do is you want to talk to your manufacturer and find out what computer you have to best suit your needs. As you connect to the MEFI 4, it's going to give you a raw data stream. It's going to give you some of your, some of your basic engine information. There's also another page that allows you to get a lot more information. So let's go ahead and get connected to the car. Let me show you where the diagnostic connector is on this older Sandrail. We get a lot, of, a lot of questions for this connector. People wanting to know what this connector does and why it's not connected to anything on their engine. Well, what this controller cable is, is this connects to our diagnostic cable. So we're gonna plug our diagnostic cable in and this is gonna allow the engine controller to talk to the computer and the MEFI Pro Scan software. So what we've done here is we've applied and installed, turned the ignition on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the connect button here. This connect button is going to connect to the software. So now we're reading ignition voltage, we're reading hours, actually you can see hours, how many hours are on the controller. This is going to give you a lot more data. This controller for example is an 18 ID. That stands for a MEFI 4B controller. It gives you number of cylinders, eight cylinders. This gives you a lot of time hours. It gives you time between zero and 100,000 RPMs, so on and so on. This gives you lots of information. If we'd like, we can go over to logging here. The logging gives you different scaling. So we can change the unit scaling we can change the time. So we want to go over here to TPS. This is going to allow the throttle position to be shown on the screen with RPM. So let me show you real quickly what that does. So with doing this, let me show you what to do. So for example, the throttle position. As I sweep the throttle position up on the car and down on my car, it's logging percentage of throttle, allowing you to check to verify if your throttle position sensor is good, bad, defective, or something other than that. You can also go over here at the same time and you can check fault codes. This car has no error codes. If there are error codes enabled here, so let me, for example, let me create an error code. And as we do that, you can see that by disconnecting, we instantly get an active malfunction for the map sensor and a logged malfunction for the map sensor. So once we get rid of the active fault code here, if we plug the map sensor back in, what we'll do is we'll see that the active goes away but the log still stays. So now we just have the logged malfunction. This also allows you to help diagnose if you have an issue. So for example, you're in the dunes, you have a mass airflow sensor that's giving you a problem but it's not necessarily faulting at the time. It'll show you that we have a logged malfunction. Just try to keep from cycling your ignition. Sometimes cycling the ignition or cycling the battery will cause that malfunction to be lost. At this point in time, we can clear the calibration. We can clear the fault codes. And now there is no current fault codes and there is no logged fault codes. Very nice feature. Let's talk a little bit about calibration here. You have the ability here where you can save a calibration. If you'd like to save a calibration here, we're gonna save a calibration. You can enter in a password and it allows you to enter a pa save a password. You can write calibrations, erase calibrations, and you can also convert to calibration type. Well, I hope this has been some informative information on MEFI ProScan. If you have any further questions, please contact us at custombuiltmotors.com, cbmmotorsports.com, or give us a call at 909-291-7550. We're glad we could be of help, and if you have any questions, please give us a call. Until next time.
I'm Chris, CBM Motorsports.